faithandreason.com. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Clement of Rome is one of the, uh, the very interesting figures of the early church. He's a very important figure because his writings are probably uh, among the earliest we have outside the scriptures. Uh, why do I say probably? Uh, because there's a range of time in which they could have been written. Uh, some scholars say they were written as early as 67 AD. Um, a majority of scholars will place them around 97 AD. Uh, either way, we're talking about the first century, we're talking about very early in history, and we're talking about the earliest witness to corroborate the testimony of the Gospels to show us what Christian life was like in that first century, that first generation after the time of the apostles as the faith went outward from Jerusalem. And what we find there is fascinating. What do we find? Well, we find uh, that there was still a lot of uh, turmoil, still a lot of tumult, uh, people arguing within the church in the city of Corinth. Now remember, Corinth had been evangelized by St. Paul, and Corinth had experienced some difficulties in that first generation. St. Paul wrote a series of letters to Corinth, two of them are in the scriptures, uh, in which he tried to get them back on track, tried to get them to get along with one another, tried to get them to clear up their liturgical irregularities and their immorality that, that, they, were, uh, that they were enduring there in, in, their, in, their, in their community. We find that by the time Clement is writing, they're still having difficulties in Corinth. They're a rebellious sort, I guess. Uh, they had uh, gone into rebellion against their clergy, uh, the clergy that had been, had been named by the bishops. And uh, they decided they wanted to name new clergy to replace these who had become inconvenient to them. And Clement is writing to correct them about that. Now, what's significant about this? Clement is writing from Rome in Italy, and he's writing a disciplinary letter to Corinth in Greece, a faraway church, and he assumes that he has authority over that church, that he can discipline them, that he has the power to do so. Now why does he, why does he feel he has this power? He says in his letter that he speaks with the authority of the Holy Spirit, and that he speaks for Jesus Christ. He senses a divine authority and he acts with the divine authority that is given to the chair of Peter in the city of Rome. That Rome has this authority over distant Corinth in, in matters of, of the sacraments. Clement's letter uh, was so revered and so valued in Corinth that it was still being read in the liturgy along with the scriptures a hundred years later. We know that. We have a, a letter from the Bishop of Corinth attesting to that. That says something about Clement's authority. It says something about his wisdom. It says something about the beauty of that letter, which really we should take up and read today, just for that, that witness and that connection it gives us to, the, to our ancestors, our Christian ancestors in the first generation after the apostles. Faithandreason.com an initiative of Franciscan University of Steubenville.